AI might be the scariest thing we're talking about. Absolutely. All the dangers of like deciphering the truth, what's real, what isn't, uh, job losses. There's so much to be scared of. And here's a list of 10 to add to whatever list you already have got going on. We're probably less social than we ever have been. Yes, people chat through text and social media with tons of different people, but the quality of those interactions is just not the same, obviously, as interacting with people face to face. On top of that, we have endless movies and shows to stream right at our fingertips, enthralling video games to get lost in. It's no wonder people just don't go out as much as they used to. And AI is only going to make this worse. It's not just jobs AI is going to take over, it's social roles as well. There are AI partners now. That's how lonely and isolated some people are. They'd actually pay for an AI avatar to flirt with them instead of going out into the real world. And I don't want to get too into the weeds with this because we could do an entire video on the whole AI girlfriend thing alone, but just to cut to the chase, this is only going to lead to increased levels of social isolation, depression, and unfulfillment. Next up, AI's participation in the field of weaponry advancements. I feel like without even expanding, that sentence alone should scare you. But if you need convincing, in 2020, an AI spent six hours coming up with 40,000 potentially lethal molecules that could be used as bioweapons after being programmed to do so by a team of biochemical researchers. Why? Lord only knows. Many of the isolated molecules identified by the AI were incredibly similar in nature and even more potent than VX, a chemical warfare nerve agent that is highly poisonous and works by preventing the nervous system from functioning properly, causing heart and respiratory failure, leading to death. While that is literally crap your pants terrifying, it gets worse because when AI is involved, the possibility of autonomous action action is too, meaning that we could reach a point in which humans are not needed to select targets and deploy this weaponry, which could very well lead to complete and utter AI and robotics take over. So, you know, something to think about the next time you get into an argument with Siri or ChatGPT, which I do all the time. <laughs> it's already hard to decipher what's real and what's not these days. Everything is politicized and almost every news station seems to want to just push their own agenda rather than just relay the hard facts. On top of that, anyone can just say whatever the hell they want online now, write up bogus articles, and there are people who just take it all as fact. And again, as AI has gotten more and more advanced, it's only added to the confusion. I mentioned Athos Salome in a video recently, this modern Nostradamus, they're calling him, you know, articles quoting him, videos are about him, but I don't actually think he's a real person. I've never actually seen him speaking in a video and I kind of have this feeling like he's an AI generated thing. For what purpose? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if I sound out of my mind right now. Again, it's hard to tell sometimes now what's real or an AI generated image. I'll watch videos sometimes now and have this weird feeling sometimes not knowing whether a narrator is an actual person behind a mic or a computer with a really convincing human voice. And speaking of articles, who the hell knows what's been written by a person or artificial intelligence? And at the rate things are going, it's just gonna get harder and harder to tell. It's no secret that AI is taking over our jobs, our art, and our communications. It's everywhere, and while it's helpful for now, if it continues progressing at its current rate, it could be debilitating. I mean, remember Wally? -E? Humans are designed to function. We need to learn and move to thrive. As our reliance on AI increases, our basic human skills decrease. Not only that, but our knowledge decreases. I mean, we're seeing it happen in schools already. Kids are choosing to turn to sites like ChatGPT to write their papers rather than actually learn the material themselves. And it's happening in professional settings too. Lawyers have been caught using AI to assist with case law a dangerous precedent. Not only that, but the AI cited made up cases, which the lawyer in question never thought to actually verify and he used them in court. As we become more reliant on these models, we become more complacent, less 
less quizzical and much, much lazier. Every day it's looking more and more like humanity is eventually going to give up on the truth and the quest for knowledge and therefore abandon their autonomy completely, allowing AI to take over society as a whole. AI adding to distrust and confusion actually has the potential to get pretty dangerous too. Like, look how convincing deep fakes are getting. Digitally manipulating someone's likeness to make them look like someone else isn't a new thing really, but deep fake technology is. Deep faking is a much more advanced technology that uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to convincingly change someone's face into someone completely different. We see it used mostly for fun right now, like people really like adding Arnold Schwarzenegger to movies that he doesn't belong in, for example. Which I mean, hey, I get it, Arnie's great, I love Arnie. But when you add the voice technology in there too, it gets pretty uncanny. And sure, it's all fun and games right now but it's not hard to imagine the bad places this can go. Convincing AI and deepfake technology can be used to create false narratives, create a video of someone you don't like committing a crime they didn't do, for example, or use deepfake and voice technology to have a politician declare war on another nation. The dangerous uses for this technology really outweigh the good because, I mean, the whole purpose of deepfaking is to create something that tricks people, to warp reality into something that it isn't. And I don't think the dangers of that are worth the surface level novelty of just replacing one actor in a movie with another one. Is that really worth it? So I spoke a lot about loss of autonomy in humans, but what about an uprising of autonomy in machinery, specifically vehicles? I mean, just one look at Tesla's track record already makes me nervous. The safety features of their vehicles are less than satisfactory. They've been known to malfunction, leaving passengers stuck inside, causing accidents, and even causing fires. In 2024, a Tesla hit a telephone pole and caught fire, killing one person. In 2023, the same thing happened, but two people died. Also in 2023, a Tesla sunk and burned underwater, and another park Tesla also caught on fire. And those are just four examples taken from a list about a mile long. But that's not all. Teslas have also been known to get hacked. In January of this year, a man's Tesla was successfully hacked twice. Luckily, no one was injured, but the perpetrators did make off with 450 thousand dollars. The next time this happens though, the victim might not be so lucky. Because these cars can be self-driving, it's possible that one day we will see hackers using other people's cars to harm the driver, run down other drivers, or pedestrians in acts of violence. Or maybe the cars themselves will decide they want to cause harm. Either way, it's pretty terrifying. Of course we gotta mention AI's threat on art as well. I mean, people who claim to be visual artists on Instagram and their whole page is just AI pieces that they churn out like 10 times per day. Stuff like that really makes me lose my faith in humanity. Again, I could spend hours talking about this alone, but to sum things up as succinctly as I can, quote unquote, art made by artificial intelligence, it just, it lacks the human experience that makes great works of fiction and artwork beautiful. There's no intention to it. And no, I don't care what specific prompts you add in. It is not the same, it never will be. This technology is just taking elements from things that other people have painstakingly created with talent and skill, having poured their hearts into. It takes from all that stuff and then just spits an image out. What makes art art is that it's made by human beings with their own life experiences, their own outlook on the world. And without that, we just have a factory churning out empty, pale imitations of it. And that just sucks. Another threat AI poses is exploitation. AI makes it easier for hackers to program and carry out scams that target vulnerable members of communities. Sometimes these scams involve monetary or identity theft, but sometimes they can be much, much worse. With a rise in AI's ability it is likely that one day it will be used for stalking not already. Anonymous inscriptions, face tracking software, and monitoring systems run using AI can be incredibly dangerous when used by the wrong person. This kind of technology could also lead to an uprise in trafficking both illicit substances and people. Using AI to encrypt data, hiding the identity of the perpetrator while exploiting the identity of victims could become increasingly popular among some pretty bad people in the near future if we're not careful. Now if you think advanced AI is only going to affect jobs in the you are sorely mistaken. You can get AI therapy now. Yes, even 
therapists are worrying whether they'll have jobs in the future. Now, I get the need for affordable therapy, but I think we can find a better way of making that happen than people being forced to medicate their mental health by talking to a computer that doesn't really care about them in the slightest. And this hasn't happened yet, but I'm sure we'll have AI teachers in the very near future. It's probably already in development. What about jobs where people need to read through a whole bunch of paperwork, analyze data? That kind of stuff is just primed for AI to take over. Why hire people to work at your call center anymore? You could just have advanced AI do it. And have a better temperament than humans with all their pesky emotions getting in the way. The list just goes on and on. And finally, the threat of AI using algorithmic manipulation in legal systems. I mean, we already talked about lawyers kind of skirting their responsibilities and using AI in case law, but there's so many other reasons for keeping AI out of our courtrooms and corporate offices. The models can be used to manipulate legal processes by deep faking false precedences, exploiting loopholes, overwhelming judicial systems with automated findings, and even damaging or erasing online evidence. And as we know, things are becoming increasingly more and more online. So that's not great. <laughs> and AIs aren't without bias either. So as our autonomy weakens and theirs grows, we could also see an incredibly distinct bias in the legal system, which one day might be headed by an automated algorithm. I mean, AI has already taken so many jobs, as James has said, from the masses. Who's to say that judge, jury, and maybe even executioner aren't next on the list? Whew. Feeling good? Uh, yes, I am. I'm scared, you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I, I am pretty scared. Le leg yeah. leg legitimately scared. Yeah. About AI. Sometimes uh, I wonder cool. if if this is all fake. Oh, um, Matrix type deal. Yeah, like going all the way into yeah. Matrix. Uh, we like, we, there's really no way to know. Yeah. I mean, you can go down a whole rabbit hole thinking about that. This has been a fun one. Um, it has. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah, we will.